Greets peeps, this is Tony, the hero of mm, Flanders, uh, here to begin the, our game with Burgundy. Uh, we've already had a little look through the various parts of this menu. Let's go straight ahead, get into the game. So, first thing we're going to do is choose whether it's normal mode, which allows us to do reloading um, a lot more freely. It um, only it, it lets you keep as many saves as you like. Iron Man mode um, prevents you from, um, for lack of a better term, save scamming or birding. Um, uh, this allows you to to earn achievements, and I want to do an achievement with Burgundy. Uh, there's an achievement for Burgundy which we'll discuss later. Oh, basically, it, if you control all of France and Austria, um, you uh, get an achievement. I can't remember what it's called, but. Uh, let's do that. Achievements can be earned in this session. Hello. Don't know why I'm not logged in. That seems strange, but hey, that's the way it goes. Uh, so, oh, here we go. So this is the second um, attempt at um, one uh, at recording this one uh, because I, it's it's a tricky game to try to explain from the ground up. So what we'll do this time is we'll focus on our monarch points. We spoke about those before with our uh, king, I think he's a king, maybe our, our duke, um, Philip III Burgon. Um, he gets five monarch points per month. That is added to three monarch points in each group that every nation gets per month regardless. So we're getting eight points per month in each of the groups. That's really good. That's an amazing amount to start with. We can tell how much Monarch points we're getting per month by scrolling over the Monarch bars up here. We get eight Monarch points per month. Uh, we get a base, every nation gets three base value, and then our administrative skill is five, our diplo skill is five, and our military skill is five. That's an excellent amount of income, and now we want to know how to spend it. Well, let's look at something else first. There's ways of increasing the amount you have in one area by setting a national focus. If we set it to administrative, then it would take one from each of these and add it to there. So we'll end up with we would end up with ten administration points each week, and sorry each month and seven for each of those. Could be an option, it depends on what we want to do. There's all sorts of ways to spend Monarch Points. They're the most precious thing in the game, but also the thing that you spend the most of, that you use the most. To increase, the easiest way to increase the amount of Monarch Points that you get, because it's not guaranteed that you're always going to have an amazing ruler, as you can see here, um, Charles is not a very good ruler. He gives, he gives us four military, that's okay. He gives us no diplomatic, and he gives us two. So under him, we'll get five admin, uh, three diplo, and seven military. So we could potentially, these focuses can only be set every, once every 20 years. So if we set it now, when it comes around to him, we could see ourselves, if we set it as admin now, um, if this guy dies, this guy takes over, we'll see under his rule that we'll get um, two from him, three from the base, and then two more from the national focus. So we'd end up with five, one, no, five, two, and four, uh, Five, two, and six, which, as opposed to our eight, 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 is pretty poor. So I'm going to leave these for the moment. I'm going because this is a fantastic haul that we're getting from Philippe. We'll stick with those, and we'll think about setting a national focus when Charles comes to power. The easiest way to boost these, however, is using advisors. When we get a administrative, a diplo, or a military advisor, they will have different amounts of administration skill that they will add to our monthly income. 
So we could get this chap for four dollar for four point five ducats a month, and he would add three to our admin tally. We could do the same here. We could do the same here. Problem being that these costs, although four point five doesn't sound much, if we scroll up here, we only get two point eight per month. So spending uh, by so by selecting this guy, we would end up losing. 2.1 uh, ducats a month and once you go bankrupt in this game uh, sorry once you go to zero you start having to take out loans that's a tricky business that we'll have to discuss at a, diff at a later point because there's a lot to that instead we could choose one of these cheaper guys this guy's only 0.5 but we could get him and him. Oh, he costs a dollar for a reason that I can't understand. Why is he cheap? That I can't... Ah, because he's 48. He won't live for very long. So, that's why his overall cost is a bit cheaper. In the same, in the same way, if we have a look at this chap, he's much more expensive, well, a little bit more expensive, expensive than this guy. It's because he's expected to live, well, he's 13 years younger, he'll live a lot longer. And so you won't have to pay that initial um, hiring cost uh, to him for a lot longer. Whereas this guy will die, uh, likely die 13 years um, earlier, so we'll have to pay that cost early. Your decision on that is it all depends on your uh, finances. Um, for us, I'm going to choose uh, this morale chap. Uh, each of these do different things. We'll, we'll talk about these later, but we want his plus one monarch point more than anything else. We want... We don't necessarily want either of those. We'll we'll wait for a minute before we get him. And I am tempted to get this guy. Just because the we'll we'll talk about that when we come to the area, but I think that's good. Okay, so those two are fine. Um he won't live for very long. Yeah, oh, there we go. He has a five percent yearly death risk. He has 0% yearly death risk. So now we're getting 9 in each of these and only 8 there. That's one way to increase our um, diplom uh, to increase our monarch points, but a different way is by declaring war on a nation. We can't declare war because it's not yet. You've got to wait for a month after the game starts. Um, but when we do declare war, there's an option in here um, against nations that you set as your rivals that will allow you to to, uh, to take their monarch points off them. Basically, it's uh, it's a show strength is the name of the of the Casus Belli. The Casus Belli is the cause for war, um, and yeah, show strength is one of the outcomes that you can choose when you choose to humiliate a rival. We'll come to that much later. So that's two ways of getting uh, more uh, monarch points. There's lots of events in the game that give you monarch points, but one of the most important ways of getting monarch points is by demanding diplomatic support from your estate, uh, demanding support in the various area from your estates. So with the bourgeois we can demand diplo, from the clergy we can demand uh, admin, from the nobility we can demand military. So this has a cooldown of 20 years, uh, sorry, every 10 years, oh sorry, wrong one, <laughs> every 20 years. Um, these uh, the amount that you get when you demand support from a uh, an, a 
estate varies depending on the amount of influence they have. If they have below a certain amount of influence, you can't demand anything from them. These guys, the bourgeois, need another, f another five influence for us to be able to demand um, 50 points from them. But if we increase the the influence that a, an estate has, we can increase the amount that they'll give us. If we get our clergy to 75, if we get any of these to 75, rather than giving us uh, 50 points, sorry, rather than giving us 100 points of admin, they'll give us 150, if I recall correctly because these guys are below 50, they only give us 50 Diplo points. Uh, they're below 50 influence, they only give us 50. Does that hold true for these guys? Because they're below 50, they only give us 50 military power. So one of the first things that I'll always do when I start a game is work out who, uh, which estates I can assign to uh, various areas. Um, and uh, and that will increase the influence that they have. Those are our ma main ways of getting influence, uh, sorry, of getting um, monarch points. So we get monarch points from our ruler, we get monarch points by default, from as, do, as does every nation. Um, we get monarch points from our advisors, and we get uh, monarch points from warring in certain circumstances for some races. It's, it's all a little bit different depending on who's who. But this here is the most important thing to do at the beginning because we want that cooldown timer to be 20 years on the dot every year. Uh, sorry, every, every five times a century. Um, the amount of, or oh, what's that, within a century if we get 150 from them each time. Um, that's um, tricky for my brain to work out. Uh, 600 monarch points, I believe. Something like that. Who knows? My maths is awful. Um, and it's definitely worth doing. No, it's not. God. 5 times 15 is... 50... 750 monarch points per year. Uh, but per century. So that's a good amount of monarch points. Um, that would be enough to get us a, a tick straight away. So what we'll do in the next video, I'll wrap this one up for the moment, and in the next video we'll talk about spending our carefully squirreled away monarch points, so I'll talk to you then.